being a wild animal is really, really tough. Even if you're a tiny little guy like these little tadpoles in this water here, these tadpoles are starting to face the effects of what happens after the rainy season ends. The whole entire creek starts to dry out as far as you can see. And the tadpoles are starting to get stuck in very, very tiny little pools of water, not even fully metamorphosized yet. They'll end up becoming prey for a bunch of stuff. And as you can see, other ones are starting to die right here in the muck. There's an awesome little yellow jacket that's just coming down to take a drink right now. But you can see these tadpoles are all climbed up in the corner, trying not to get cooked by the heat. Hopefully they can just eat as much as possible, kind of become that biggest, toughest guy in the, tod in the tadpole or little puddle. And they can metamorph fast enough and get some added protection as a frog. So it's pretty tough. I haven't seen any more tadpoles for a while going that way. There was one little pool, maybe 200 feet from here to 500 feet from here. That is the same thing. And it's starting to get hot. It's been hot all day. So I'm assuming this little puddle is not gonna be here for much more than a few days. So I wish these guys good luck. As so we've been walking quite a ways now, and I was wrong, it's way more than 500 feet. We haven't seen another tadpole hole or puddle yet, but I see another one coming up way up here. And as you can see, these guys are all chilling in here. Whatever's left of this particular puddle. And unfortunately, right to the left, it's a complete dead pile got stuck up here I actually had no idea I only saw this puddle when I walked over here and then by the time I got here I realized that this was like this and unfortunately all these little guys already seem to be dead oh there's a little guy who seems to be alive yeah there you go dude he's all good all right there's some of them. he seems to be okay too he's wiggling They're so fragile, I don't want to mess with them when I pick them up. Oh, 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 he's wiggling too. Don't put him here. Man, there's actually a bunch of these dudes. And it doesn't take them long. Come on, they're all covered in rocks. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. It doesn't take them long to uh, all kind of dry out. If you look, actually, a lot of them are still wiggling. Get in that puddle, guys. Get in that puddle. Man. Things are all still good, too. Oh, well. Glad that wasn't as horrible as it seemed. But you can tell these guys weren't in the shade. I wasn't nearby. Probably would have been. Totally different story. They're literally sticking to the moss. It's here. I'm sorry, little guy, you're really in the rocks, huh? You okay? Hello? And I don't even know if I'm actually recording successfully because I'm concentrating on these guys. Whoa, get over there. And I think we got three more. Yeah. Little guy, I gotta pour a little rock on your head, dude. Yeah, he might be okay too. He was wiggling. So here they are. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Hello, Mr. Beetle. What are you doing over there? Well, there's a whole bunch of these guys. I hope I saved some. Like I said, they kind of got stuck here. Maybe thought this was the way to go, and then this. You know, there's no pass through here with not enough water. And they got stuck. You can see a few dead ones. They're already in this bigger puddle. And this puddle is going to be gone in another day or two. Oh, look, actually, over there. There's a whole bunch more tadpoles. Oh, man. Even more that I didn't see here. The entire place is riddled with them. So, 
I wish these tadpoles luck. It's gonna be a tough season out here. See you later, little dude. Farther up the creek right here. Woo, holy cow, look at this puddle that I found. No more water left. Everybody is just stuck in here. Luckily they're in the shade. There's no even water for a thousand, two thousand feet in each direction. These guys are all just done. All these guys are here. And this is why certain species have a really, really high volume of births because the chances of mortality can be really high. So it pays off for you to be a species that's able to have hundreds and hundreds of babies because then it's more likely that someone from your genetic pool is gonna be able to pass on some genes to the next generation. Hopefully that will be the biggest, the toughest, the fastest at eating, and the ones that were able to get to a puddle long enough to survive in this case and become adults. Good luck, little dudes. Mm, I would help again, but not sure what to do here. There's so many, and the next pool is just as bad. You saw us filming that one, and water after that is even farther. <laughs>